In this email marketing for beginners video, I'm gonna go through and give you some powerful and actionable tips that you can use when it comes to email marketing. I'm sure you know how great email marketing is and the great statistics that come along with it, so I'm gonna get right on into it. In this example, I am gonna be using GetResponse, so if you wanna check them out, I will leave my link in the description. You can actually check them out for free and follow along if you like. So I have some tips for you here, and right off the bat, the first one is going to be know your goal. When you are sending an email, what do you want out of it? What's gonna be the end result? What's gonna be the goal? It's very important to know that because if you start going through and you're not really sure what the end goal is, you're not gonna get a great result. In this example, what I wanna do is simply send out an email where anytime someone clicks on the link in the email, they're gonna get directed to a video review that I did on my YouTube channel. So that's the main goal. Ultimately, I want them to open the email, click on a link, and of course they can watch the video and if they wanna purchase, they can do that. So I know my goal. A few other goals, just in case you were curious about what they could be, maybe you want them to get a free ebook that they downloaded or requested to access. Maybe you want to send them a case study. Maybe you want to send them to a free training or a new article or a coupon. As long as you know your goal, you're going to be good to go. Just make sure that's the first thing you do so that you're not creating an email blindly. Otherwise, you're probably not going to do so hot with your email. And now that we've been on a stationary screen and I've been talking for a while, let's move on to something a little bit more actionable. If I scroll down here and get response, what I'm gonna have here is my subject line. So this also ties in with number one, knowing what you're gonna do. And of course, when you know what you're gonna do, you know what you're gonna be promoting, what you're probably gonna wanna be talking about, and so on and so forth. Now, don't be afraid to get some help when it comes to subject lines. This is the very important aspect of your email because if no one opens it, no one goes into your email, no one clicks it, no one buys, and so on and so forth. So you can get help through ChatGPT. So as I talked about previously, I said I'm gonna be doing a video review, or I've at least done it, I'm gonna be sending it to them. So I let them know that I'm gonna be sending traffic to this video review and help me write 10 subject lines that target YouTube users and include some curiosity. A tip I wanna give you right off the bat, you don't have to have the highest open rates ever. You could do an email subject line like, hey, or wow, or you need to see this, dot, 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 where their curiosity is gonna be peaked. However, you're gonna get a lot of people opening it up, and sometimes a lot of the people opening up isn't gonna be a good thing because it's not gonna be targeted. I would rather have a, say, eight or 10% open rate, and then everyone who's opening knows exactly what they're getting into because they're interested in, rather than like a 20 or 25%, just because it's just so bland and random that anyone is going to open for whatever reason. Here's a few examples right here. So you can always utilize ChatGPT or anything else to help you come up with subject lines. In fact, it's usually a good idea to do that first because then you'll have some more ammunition, so to speak, when it comes to writing your email. So there's a few good ones here, like the secret tool every YouTuber needs to grow fast. Are you missing out on this YouTube game changer? That one's not too bad, because when you think about it, they're like, what am I missing out on? What could it be that's a game changer? And so on and so forth. I like that one, so it showcases that it's gonna be for YouTube, so anyone who is interested in YouTube is more likely to click on that. And it's also curiosity-based. So I like this one. I'm gonna simply copy this. And that's gonna be my subject line there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is actually go to the design and content now. So keep in mind, that is going to be our subject line. And then the reason I'm saying that is because we can reuse it again. I'll show you where. Let's just go to the design and content. So I'm gonna to go to the design message and we can actually get into writing the email. All right, so there's gonna be plenty of templates that you can utilize. You can even save your own, which I have done, but I do wanna start from the beginning. I'm gonna do a blank template. The reason I wanna bring this up is because if you wanna have the highest chances of staying out of the spam box, I like using blank templates, nothing on it, no pictures, no images. The more images you put on there, the higher the chances that you're gonna be getting into the spam box and a lot less people will be able to open your emails in the first place. So I don't wanna get in my own way. I have no problem with not showcasing my brand and all that other stuff. Plain Jane is completely fine with me. I'd recommend you do the same thing unless you really want to showcase a lot of the brand and all that other stuff. That's going to be up to you. You can always test it out, but I love plain templates. I'm going with this one. All right, so I got something a little special for you. Here I'm gonna be giving you the A5 formula. There are so many different templates and formulas that you can use for email marketing, but this is one I often come back to. I've just, I've had this for a long time and I think you're really gonna like it as well. So here's the A5 formula. It's a great way to create emails for any specific type of scenario, which is pretty cool. It's very flexible. So first thing with the A, there's gonna be A in each. Bring up anything that has happened or is happening. Now keep in mind, this is for your specific audience. Like what's happening in their life could be problems, solutions, or anything related to your niche, product, or offer, okay? Point out a feeling that accommodates their beliefs. 
angle that feeling into the product you are promoting. And if it's not a product, it could be for your blog post, it could be for whatever it is you're going to be sending, right? Acknowledge something that your reader wants and aspire their action. So let's do a live uh, email session right here when utilizing this, okay? So bring up anything that has happened or is happening. Remember, before we talked about how this is going to be for a YouTube review, it's going to be for YouTube software. So we have to think about in the terms of someone who is using YouTube, like what's happening? What are they going through? Are they creating a lot of videos? Are they not getting traction? So let's speak to that specific aspect. Okay, so bring up anything that has happened or is happening. All right, so here we go. This is going to be for the first A. And as it says, does it feel like no matter how many YouTube videos you create, you just can't seem to have your breakout moment? So there's a lot of different ways of saying that, but what this is overall addressing is someone who say is creating YouTube videos. They've created a lot of them. The views aren't coming. The subscribers aren't coming. The leads aren't coming. The sales aren't coming. They're kind of getting frustrated and maybe they're seeing a lot of other people have success. So this is pretty much talking to the perfect audience that the solution would be perfect for as well. Now point out a feeling that accommodates their beliefs. Okay, so let's go down here to the next section. All right, so here we go. Point out a feeling that accommodates their beliefs. So if someone is struggling, they're not making YouTube work, I put maybe you thought that only big channels are winning, but that's not always the case. So the reason here is you're kind of breaking beliefs here. And this is a really good thing because if someone thinks that they just have to put a ton of work, just create all these videos and they're always going to get success, that might be true. But if it's not working for them, it's time we change the way they're doing things. And we can angle that into something that can obviously help them. So let's move on to the next one. Angle that feeling into the product that you are promoting. So, all right, so here I put, in fact, sometimes you just need a little bit extra help. So this is gonna be the angle, the feeling into the product that we're gonna be promoting. It's kind of like segueing into it. It's a nice introduction. It kind of sets it up, kind of like a layup to obviously introduce the product. Now, here's the cool thing. Remember how we had our subject line where it says like, are you missing out on this? This is the perfect opportunity to place it right here. So another tip here is to use the subject line, use that as one of your links. And the reason you're gonna to wanna to do this is because if someone clicks on your subject line, their chances are gonna be much higher that they will also click on the link if it's exactly the same, okay? So I'm gonna get that link to the review video that I did one moment. All right, I have the shareable link. I'm just gonna highlight this. I'm gonna click on the link button right here and I'm just gonna paste that in and do insert. Okay, so we have the first three aspects done right here. Now acknowledge something that your reader wants. So we know that they've been having a hard time when it comes to growing their YouTube channel. So now we can just talk about some benefits, okay? This is a kind of like a dream state. You know, if someone's creating a YouTube channel, they probably want more views, they want more leads, more sales, maybe more AdSense. So a lot of that stuff, pretty easy to figure out. You should know your niche and your perfect audience, of course, kind of the, the heaven and hell situations as they call it. What's like the dream state, the best thing for them, the big benefits they want, and what are the struggles that they're going through? How do we get them from where they are now to obviously the best peak state where they're reaching all of their goals? Let's talk about that now. All right, so this was a simple one. I like using bullet points because it makes it a little bit easier to read. So I put, after all, wouldn't it be great to increase your views and subscribers, uh, dot, 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 all while generating more leads and sales daily. Now, of course, you could add a few more in there if you want, if you wanted to be a little bit more specific. And while we're at it, here's another tip to just kind of go through. You're gonna notice that my sentences are very short and choppy. I usually break them up. I'll use an ellipses. This isn't something you have to do, but the main point here is that you wanna make it easy to read. If you've ever, say, gone on a forum anywhere or Facebook or a social media platform, if someone ever typed something out and there were no paragraph spaces, they were really long sentences, it makes it extremely hard to read. As I always say, you can quote me, it reads like a college essay. And that's never any fun to read. For my testing and experience, I always love creating short, choppy sentences. Someone can very easily skim through, get the main idea, and of course, you want them to click on your link, which is the main goal right here. So once I remove this, you're gonna see how much more simple it looks with just you know small, short, choppy sentences. That makes it easier for someone to follow through. And kind of just recapping on the acknowledge I put, and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video today. Then under it, we have aspire their action. This is pretty simple, just straightforward, giving them a little nudge, giving them some inspiration reasons why they might want to take action on clicking that link. So I put, so if achieving YouTube success is something you really want, check out the link below to see exactly what I mean. And this is going to be a call to action here. So we have click here to get all the glorious YouTube details. You'll notice how it says click here. You could say click this link. 
visit this link, click on this link, go here, whatever it's going to be, letting them know exactly what to do. You won't believe how many times people won't click on something until you tell them to. I remember someone saying this and they had done like millions of dollars in spending on ad spend for Facebook ads. I've seen it myself where you create an ad and on the ad it says, you know, click here to, you know, download your free gift, whatever it is. And someone down below will say, how do I get it? And it's just like, it's so blatantly obvious to you, but you have to keep in mind that not everyone realizes that. Like if you're really into marketing, of course you know how to click on a link or a button or a picture to get it, but not everyone knows that. That's why it's good to have at least one call to action here. Okay, so that's gonna be this one. What I'm gonna do is just get my link again, which is right here and place it in the other section. All right, so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna click here. All right, so before I delete the A5 formula, I hope you enjoyed that one. Once again, we're bringing up anything, pointing out a feeling that accommodates their beliefs, we're angling that feeling into a product, acknowledging something that they want, and aspiring their action. Now, if we take a look at it right here, look how simple and sweet this email is. It's not very long. If you load it up, you don't have to scroll all the way down to find the links. So another way of saying that is that it is above the fold. When you look at it, I will show you in the test and preview, but let's just go over it one more time, okay? So does it feel like no matter how many YouTube videos you create, you just can't seem to have your breakout moment? Maybe you thought that only big channels are winning, but that's not always the case. In fact, sometimes you just need a little extra help. Are you missing out on this YouTube game changer? It's a question, it's curiosity based. This can help us get some more clicks on that. And of course, this was the subject line. So since they are more prone to clicking on it and opening it up, there's gonna be a higher chance that they click that as well. Okay, so after all, wouldn't it be great to increase your views and subscribers all while generating more leads and sales daily? And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video today. So if achieving YouTube success is something you really want, check out the link below to see exactly what I mean. And we have a call to action and just a simple sign off here. You can do that however you want, okay? So the main purpose of this is going to be get the click. If you notice, I never mentioned the product once. I don't need to, because that's gonna be talked about in the review. And if you're sending, say, traffic to a sales letter, one thing I wanna remind you is that you don't need to completely sell the product here. This is more about talking to the specific audience, which is someone who is struggling with YouTube. Of course, what they are looking for, the struggles they're going through, and how those things can change upon obviously clicking on that link. And that's where more of the selling is gonna be. That's more of this is how this software works, this is how you're gonna benefit from it, and so on and so forth. So that is something to keep in mind. Also, what you can do, if you go here, you can do, if you're using GetResponse, you can click on Save as My Template. So what that means, just to kind of give you an idea, every time you open a new email and you wanna reuse this one, you can. It'll just kind of showcase the formula that you can use, so you can just go ahead and plug in and play it if you wanna do that, just to keep things really simple. What we can also do is test and preview. We can just do preview right here. So when someone opens this up, the entire email is literally going to be in front of them. They don't have to scroll down really far and that's a good thing. They have room to click on these specific links here and everything that they need is going to be right there. Compare that to something that was just no spacing, just a ton of text. If you open this up and just saw a wall of text, would you wanna read it? I know I wouldn't and I know there's a lot of people who wouldn't as well. That's the reason why I like making my sentences short and choppy. It's just so much easier to digest. And that's something that I recommend you do as well. So I think that's a good time to conclude this video when it comes to email marketing for beginners. I wanted to go with some good tips and tactics that you can use when it comes to utilizing your email. I'm gonna run through them very quickly once more. First and foremost is knowing your goal. What are you going to be sending an email about and what are they going to be getting sent to? Could it be to a YouTube video? Could it be to a sales page? Could it be to maybe a free value ebook? Could it be for whatever it is, an article, a new Facebook post they need to see? Just make sure you know ahead of time because that's gonna allow you to do things much easier and efficiently overall. Next is gonna be the subject line, which coincides with number one. Once you know what you're doing, it makes it a little bit easier to create subject lines. And if you need more help, go to ChatGPT. Say you wanna create an email that's gonna send people to X, whatever it's going to be, and that you want some maybe curiosity-based subject lines that deal with whatever it is you're talking about. Okay, next one, if I didn't get to mention it, previously, I will now, is that we have at least one link above the fold. That means that when they open up their email, they can at least see one, so it's always gonna be there for them to click. If you've ever opened up an email and you had to scroll all the way down to the bottom many times just to click on one link, 
yeah, you're not gonna get as many clicks. In fact, you're probably not gonna get too many because a lot of people aren't gonna scroll down. That's once again why I like the short and choppy sentences, which goes with the next tip, make it easy to read. Paragraph spacing, the little bullets here help and everything just makes it much easier on the eyes. Next is gonna be getting the click. So we did this by two ways. We made our subject line, one of the links here. And for this one, we use an actual call to action, which will tell them that they're gonna to wanna to click here if they are looking to get this benefit. And last but not least, if you wanna save some time and you just wanna be able to use some emails while changing around some links and just other text, feel free to save it by going to save and then save as my template. And that's going to be it. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. There is so much information that I can talk about when it comes to email marketing, but I think this is going to do well for beginners, and uh, that about does it. If you want to test out GetResponse, that link will be in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and watching this email marketing video, and I will see you in my next one.